Hi Libras and welcome. My name is Inez and today I am doing a oh, shit. There we go. Let's fix this. Try and fix this. There we go. Better. You like my new background? I'm trying to fix it. That's why I'm trying to adjust the camera so it, it looks perfect. It hasn't been working out for me in the last few videos. I can tell you that much. But anyways, welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from February 2nd through the 8th. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So, if it doesn't apply, then what are you going to do? That's right. You're going to let it fly. And if it does apply, then I would love to read your comment down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you could contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. I'm also offering video and FaceTime readings. And of course, the prices are totally different. Yes, the prices are different. So here we go, Libras. Let's see what's going on with the Libras. Let's see what we got going on. I need to get some tissue for my eyeliner. Look at that. My eyeliners are all running. I need to get some tissue. I do that once I'm done with this video. I'm going to take a small uh, commercial break after I'm done with your Libras. Let's see what's in store for Libras. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd through the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd through the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd through the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd through the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th, 2020. Please tell me about Libras in Love from February 2nd to the 8th. There we go, Libras. In the bottom of the deck, we got the tower. Yes, yes, girl, we got the tower. Oh, boy. Now, this applies to men just as well, not just for females. This applies to men because we all have feminine and masculine energy within us. So, this applies to both. Let's see what we got here. So we have the Three of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Oh, we got the Emperor and the Three of Swords. The Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Hmm. 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 Let's see here, Libras. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. Some of you guys could be dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And or water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. So, Libra. Somebody here is lying. Somebody here is lying. This could be a three-party situation. I'm feeling that is a three-party situation. I really do feel it. 
I don't know. It's just the Three of Cups and the Three of Swords, you know, and then the Seven of Swords. Mm, that sounds like a three-party situation. I'm picking this up as a three-party situation. Having two... Mm, so... I mean, not everybody's in a three-party situation. Granted, not everybody ends up in one, but some people do. And for some situ in some situation, this could be where somebody just wants to reunite with you and they want to make an offering to you. They want to make an offering. They want to reunite. You know, they want to take you out, you know, wine you and dine you. And this person, this person could have been disappointed. This person could have been hurt in the past. And but this person wants to communicate with you, and they be they're gonna be very direct and straight to the point. Are they gonna be truthful? I don't know about all that. I think you're asking for a lot right there. You might be asking a little bit too much for that right there. Yeah, I know. We'll go figure. Let's start clarifying to see where it takes us. Because, you know, I like to get straight to the point. I don't like to spend too much time on this spread. I want to start clarifying because that gives me more information. Actually, it tells me a whole entire story. It tells me the whole entire story. So the story always tends to change. Okay. So let's find out about this uh, Page of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Page of Pentacles. Why is this Page of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Page of Pentacles. Why is this Page of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Page of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, so we have the Six of Swords, the Moon in Reverse, and the Queen of uh, Rods here. So somebody's leaving somebody. And uh, you're gonna find out, you're gonna find out about this pretty soon, or well, you're gonna find out about it. I don't know how soon it's soon, but you're going to find out about it because the moon is in reverse and they could be leaving either you could be leaving them or they could be leaving you for someone else for the queen of rods here because this is somebody here leaving choppy waters to go off to common waters and you may not know that they're leaving somebody or this person is leaving you to go be with somebody else. We'll find out, but this person is making an offering to somebody else, wanting to take somebody else out on a date. Or, I'm trying to stay away from the three-party situation, but it keeps pulling up. It really does. I mean, no offense. Uh, you know what? I'm going I'm to finish this. I'm going to put my two cents in later. Okay. Let's find out about the three of cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information towards about the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the Three of Cups. Please get more information on the three of cups. Please get more information on the three of cups. Please get more information on the three of cups. Please get more information on the three of cups. Oh, okay. Okay. So we have the four of cups in reverse. We have the two of cups. And we have the Two of Swords. So a decision was made here already. This person, it looks like this person, they missed the opportunity with someone. Because it looks like they could have chose you over someone else. And now they're realizing that they made a, they made a wrong decision. They, I guess they thought that the grass was greener on the other side, but it really wasn't. And 
Now they're coming back towards you. Or you going back towards the other person. Because this person sees you as their two of cups. This person loves you. And they could have missed the opportunity with you. So now they're coming back because now they made a decision. So it could have been in this, it could have been in this situation where someone had left you for someone else, but now they're coming back towards you. Because they thought it was better over there. They thought it was gonna be way better over there, but little did they know, it's like uh uh. I guess it wasn't, so now they want to come back. Libra, this could be you or this could be the other person. So if you need to flip this, by all means, go right ahead and flip it. Okay? Because I could easily be picking up on the other person's energy and not yours. Okay? Let's find out about the Emperor. Please give me more information on 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 the Emperor. Why is this Emperor here? Please give me more information on the Emperor. Please give me more information on the Emperor. Let me see. So we have the Hangman in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles. So somebody made a decision that they now want to invest into this connection. They want the Ten of Cups and they will now want to invest in you. They now want to invest in you. Look at the bottom of the deck. Look who we have. Judgment. Wanting the second chance. This person wants another chance. They want to make, they want to invest in you now. It didn't work out for them. Guess the, I guess they'll work out with the other person, right? Now they want to come back. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Please get more information on the Three of Swords. And look, you're coming on your own reading to Libra. Justice being served here in the Knight of Cups as well. You're trying to come back to make things right. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information on the Three of Swords. Please get more information. Let me see. Now they want to cooperate with you. Three of Pentacles. You know what? I'm going to go right in and put my two cents in right now because I can't keep my mouth shut. See me, I'm a Virgo. I'm not dealing with no Libras at all. And if a Libra was to come up to me, I'm a run. I'm a holler ass. Because I have dealt with so many Libras. It's ridiculous. It's like one Libra after another Libra after another Libra after another Libra. It's like OMG. And this story right here, way too familiar from the Libras I have dealt with. Way too familiar. Leave, they'll leave you to be with somebody else and then they want to come back because they figured that the grass was green on the other side, but now they want to come back to be with you. It's like, mm, then they come back wanting to be all with you, wanting to work things out with you, wanting to balance out the scales and that's the same thing that's going on right here. They do that. And, you know, and I have dealt with a lot of Libras. I'm not with no Libras. Trust me, this is not my reading. But it's, it's too close to home because I have gone through this already with Libras. Of course, Libra men. I'm not saying that all Libra men are like this, but the ones that I have dealt with, the ones that I have experienced have been like this. Have been like this with a three-party because it's very rare that when a Libra leaves a person that they don't have somebody else. 
Because when a Libra leaves, when the Libra, if a Libra breaks up with you, you better trust and believe that Libra already has somebody else on the side. That Libra already has someone else. They're not going to, Libra's not going to leave you and just be by themselves. No. A Libra already has somebody. I have experienced this firsthand. I know. I have, my best friend is a Libra. Okay? And we've been friends now for 25 years. I know. I've seen a girl in action. And I've dated lots of Libras. So, this is not me right here. For those of you guys that are wondering, it's not me. Trust me, this is not me. <laughs> I won't. Mm, me and a Libra? Time served, go home. <laughs> uh, judge, I, 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 I contest. Time served, go home. <laughs> yeah. I don't deal with Libras, these Libra men. I'll be friends with you guys and all that shit, but to get in a relationship, yeah, that ain't happening. Mm -mm. That right there, that's not happening at all. I'm going to run. Trust and believe, I will run. But this right here, I'm not saying that all Libras are like this because not all Libras are like this. You have some really good Libras out there. You really do have. But some of them... They're like this. And this person, they're coming back because now they want to work things. They want to work on things with you. See, we have the justice and the three of pentacles here. They want to work on things. They want to cooperate with you. They want to compromise. They want to meet you halfway. They want to be on the same page with you. They now want to make an offering to you. They want to now come back to you. Because, like I said, they thought the grass was green on the other side. They could have left you for somebody else, or you could have left them for somebody else. Flip it, you need to flip it. And it didn't work out. You probably didn't know that they was leaving you for somebody else. I mean, you won't find out when this person comes back. You might find out. They may tell you. They may not tell you. I mean, I don't know. Cause it's not truth is not coming out here. We have the we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Seven of Swords, but as far as the Ace of Swords, that's not here. So you may not find out about it at all. I mean, it's gonna come out. You probably find out on your own. But as far as this, as far as them coming towards you, telling you, being completely honest with you. It's not showing up here in the cards at all. It's, it's showing up that you're going to find out. You might either find out. I don't know. You might find out to a friend, family, whatever. I don't know. But you're, it's going to come in the open where you're going to find out somehow in some type of form. You're going to find out. But it's not the, the Ace of Swords is not here where it's telling me that this person is going to come towards you. And be truthful with you and be tell you everything. It's not coming out. Okay? So let's keep it going. Let's find out about this Knight of Swords. Please give me more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give me more information on the Knight of Swords. Let's put you back because you came in way too fast. Please give me more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give me more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give me more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give more. Please give more information on the Knight of Swords. Please give more information on the Knight of Swords. Okay, so what we have so far here. Look at the Queen of Cups. She came out again. And the Seven of Wands. Let's see. Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. They're fighting it. They're fighting the urge. We have the Ace of Pentacles now. So this Knight of Swords is coming in. Because what we got here in the bottom? Of, oh, we got the four of wands. Damn. Uh, this person wants to come in because they actually do love you. They do care about you. And they want a new beginning with you. And they're willing to fight for it. This person is willing to fight for your 
for this new beginning with you. Because they want, they want stability with you and they want to offer you their love. Because this person actually does love you. They do care about you. And they want to, and they will fight for you. And because we have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Swords, he charges. He comes in fighting. And that's what this person wants to do. They want to fight for you. They want, they're going to fight for this connection because they actually do care about you in their own way. Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Please get more information on the Knight of Swords. Look, we got the Five of Wands here. They're going to make amends. This person wants to make amends with you. They want to fight. They're gonna. They're gonna. They don't. They want to work things out with you. They really do want to work things out with you, and they and they're willing to fight for this connection, for this relationship, and they want to make things right by you. They want to do right by you. They want to do right by you. Cause they actually do care about you. I want to know what the Seven of Swords is about. That's what I'm really curious about. The Seven of Swords. Let's see. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please give me more information. You guys love each other. Please give me more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. This person was lying to themselves. That's what they was doing. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. They was lying to themselves. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. This person was lying. They was lying. They could have been lying to themselves. Self-sabotaging the whole entire situation because here they're nervous. This person is nervous and they're worried. And they want to communicate. They're not lying about, they was lying about how they felt about you. That's where they was lying. They was lying to themselves about. They didn't. They wasn't lying about. Let me get more. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. They was lying to themselves. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Please get more information on the Seven of Swords. Damn it. Why? Because they was conflicted. Look. So we have the King of Cups here. We have the Nine of Swords. This is them being uh, nervous. And the King of Swords in reverse. This person was busy lying. They was lying to themselves about how they truly felt about you. Because they were conflicted. They were conflicted. They was having... Because things came to an end between the both of you guys. Things had ended. Of course, because they left you for somebody else. So... Or you left them. So, this person... They could have been having, they could have been, it could have been uh, uh, inner conflict, mental conflict, or could have just been conflict between the both of you guys. But this person did lie to you about, they not did lie to you, they lied to themselves. They was lying to themselves because the king of swords is in reverse. And the king of swords in reverse is not an honest king. Because the king upright, king of swords upright, he's an honest king and he acts from truth. And he speaks the truth. But when he's in reverse, 
He's a manipulator. He lies. He's not an honest king. And that's what this person was doing. They was lying to themselves about how they truly felt about you. And that was scaring them how they truly felt about you. The way they felt about you scared them. They had them nervous. And they had this inner conflict going on. Here, they had inner conflict. Things between the things the things came between came to an end with you guys. Things ended between you guys all due to their conflict, to their insecurities. Better yet said, because that's I mean, if you narrow it down, because they was lying to themselves. They didn't want to admit to themselves that they was actually that they actually cared about you, that they actually loved you. They didn't want to do it. But the truth is that they did lie about how they felt about you. They lied to themselves. That's what they was doing. They was lying to themselves. This is, and that's why now they want to come back. Cause now they realize that they do love you. They know they know that they missed out opportunity with you because they was busy lying to themselves. Oh, I don't love her. I don't love cancer. I mean, not cancer. Some of you guys may be dealing with a cancer. They were like, I don't even love Libra. Who cares about Libra? I don't love her. Whatever. I'm going to go with so-and-so. It's better. But then when they leave to be with so-and-so, that's when they realize, damn, Libra was the one for me. I actually do love Libra. I actually do want to be with Libra. And that's when they come back wanting to cooperate, wanting to work things out with you, wanting to make things right with you. Because before, they never want to admit that they actually did care about you. But now that you, but now that you was gone and they left and they saw that the grass wasn't green on the other side, now they want to come back because now they're realizing that they do care. Now they want to admit it out loud that they do care. And that's where they're coming back. They're coming back to tell you how, you know, that they do care about you. They're finally going to say it out loud this time around. Because now they're extending themselves to you as a king of cups. They're not coming to you as a player. They're not coming towards you as a knight of as a knight of wands. You know, wanting to be lying and cheating all that junk. So this is good, Libra. So they coming towards you. Libra, this could be either you or it could be the other person that's coming back. That's coming back. Okay, so let's get your guidance message here. <coughs> Please give me a guidance message for Libra. 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 Art. Angel Gabrielle. Gabrielle guides your creativity. There we go. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again for your weeklies. You guys have a great weekend. Take care. Be safe. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye, Libras.